Hey guys, back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about some stuff that I think needs to be added into Prodigy in 2025, so let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing that I think Prodigy should add this year, this one is pretty obvious, Dragon Isle Part 2. Now there are either two ways that I think they can do this. The first one would be to just release everything at the same time. Prodigy did say that they were going to try to get out Dragon Isle Part 2 around New Year's. It is almost two months past New Year's, so I'm not really sure when it's going to come out at this point. I'm kind of thinking they're going to just release it in August, and if they do, I think that they're going to release both Dragon Isle Part 2 and the Puppet Master Battle at the same time. But I think they could also do it where they release Dragon Isle Part 2 in like a month or two. That's sort of what they did with Harmony Island. They released Part 1, I think, in probably November or December. And then they released the second part in March or something like that. So I think that's what they could do with Dragon Isle. And then if they do that, I think they'll probably save the uh, Puppet Master Battle until um, Back to School, so August, just so that they have a Back to School update. And then while we're on the topic of Dragon Isle, there is something that definitely needs to be addressed in it, and that is the Lucky Loot. It is pretty unrewarding. You really don't get any items. It's very uncommon to get anything. They might be adding respins in for, like, cost of 500 gold or something like that. Um, that would be good, that would make it so that you could actually get rewards out of Dragon Isle, because right now you really can't. Or they should just bring back the update where you were able to get guaranteed items. They did remove that though, so I don't really think they're going to bring that one back. Now the next thing is something that is sort of confirmed to be coming to the game. No one just knows about it yet except for me. So I had sent an email to Prodigy back in like July asking about some stuff for a video I was making about the lore of Prodigy. One of the questions I asked was who created the Titan. They said that they might release an update that is going to like say who created the Titan. It would be like Master of the Titans or something like that. I don't know how much it would affect the gameplay at all, like if it would release any new items or anything special to do with the Titan, but that is an update that we could be seeing. Now, another update that I had asked about was um, about the lore of the Mythical Epics, because there isn't really any lore related to the Mythical Epics. There was some related to the OG Epics, so I had asked Prodigy if they were going to add any lore for the Mythical Epics. They said that they probably are going to, but they are going to be doing it after they finish updating all the pets, which they are pretty far along in updating most of them. I assume what they meant is that they were going to be uh, rasterizing all of them. They um, are getting pretty close to that. Most of the pets are rasterized. There are like a few. I don't think they're going to rasterize the OG Epics. But, like, Brumble needs to be, um, Aquariot Fishbowl need to be. So there are still a few that need to be rasterized, but once we see all of that, we could potentially be getting a Mythical Epic lore. Now, this next one is pretty obvious, and that is Starlight Festival. They definitely need to bring it back this year. If they do, I think it's probably going to be, um, in, like, July or August. They kind of have missed the timetable for releasing it right now. I thought they were probably going to release it in this time period, but it seems like we are going to be getting Springfest as our next festival. And another thing that they need to do with festivals, make actual rewards. Um, they have just been doing re-releases, but as of now, that's not really great because you can get all the pets that they're re-releasing you can get them in the Dragon Isle, so there's really no, not really anything cool that you get from doing the festivals anymore. You don't get any new rewards if you've already played the festival once, so they definitely need to add new rewards. And then I think they should also add bosses, like how they have Hollow ja Jack, they should add one for each festival. They sort of already had 
Apple Pot as a boss is not really a boss of uh, Summerfest anymore. Now, the next one would be another good update. That would be to bring back the arena. Now, there are two ways that I think they could do this. They could rather bring back the Harmony Island Arena. I think it would probably be under a different name, though, because unless they're bringing back Harmony Island, they're probably not going to bring back the Harmony Island Arena. Or another way that they could do it is by putting the arena in Dual Stadium. They definitely need to change it up a bit. Because at the moment, you can only do 9 battles in the dual stadium if you're a member. If you're a non-member, you can only do 4. So that would make grinding in the arena very hard to do because you could only do 9 battles a day because of dual stadium rooms. And if they were to do it, they definitely need to make the seasons a lot shorter than they had been in the Harmony Island arena. Because those had been like three or four months long, which was way too long, and I think that's what ultimately made them delete the arena because not enough players were playing, and that's because there was nothing to do after the first month of the arena. Now, the next update that I think Prodigy needs to add has to do with the plot. They haven't really worked on the plot of the game since the Puppet Master update, or like the plot that I'm talking about is how they updated the plot in Firefly Forest, um, it definitely seemed like they were going to be linking that into Shiver Chill, which would probably link into all the other ones with the Wardens in each area, but they haven't done that in almost two years. They started working on it in like the summer of 2023, and we haven't really gotten anything since, so they definitely need to work on that. Now, this next one um, would be to actually add new stuff into the treasure track really all we get is sort of this one really didn't even have new pets they were sort of new but it wasn't like super exciting we got muck eye and whatever is after muckster and then we got lumi jolt and lumi volt those were the pets that we got they weren't really anything super special also they don't add new mythic lubix anymore i think they definitely should add new mythic lubix really the only thing new that we get is mounts um sometimes new pets and then we get new pet gear i think it would be cool if we got a new mythic lubix each month or i guess not each month just like once per treasure track and also some like gear like wands new buddies they used to do that they don't really do that anymore so like they haven't added wands or anything like that ever but i think it would be cool if they did do that so yeah they definitely need to edit some of the stuff in the treasure track now the next thing that i think prodigy needs to update this year is the uh elemental areas we've only had firefly forest um, and the Academy updated to be, I guess it would be called HD. The other ones are still pixelated, so I definitely think that that should be updated. Also, the map should probably also be updated to not be pixelated anymore. I think that that would be pretty cool. Um, the next one would be to bring back the old Wizard Dash rewards. If you didn't know, a few months ago they did get updated. You used to be able to get about 3,000 or 4,000 gold per run in the wizard dash now you only get about 1000 or 2000 which doesn't make it a great way to grind for gold or any other currency anymore you could just go to that area and get more gold get more uh elemental currency faster than doing wizard dash so i think they should revert those changes it would make uh wizard dash a lot more rewarding and a lot more fun to actually do now, the next thing that I think Prodigy should do really isn't an update. It would be, um, like, a community contest on the wiki where, um, like, design your own pet or design your own buddy, design your own gear set. Whichever one is the most upvoted on the wiki would get added into the game, and then it could be, like, in the treasure track or in daily login rewards, something like that. That would be pretty cool. And... It would be a great way to get the community involved in the game a little more. I know that there are definitely some people on the wiki that could make some very cool 
pets. So I think that Prodigy should do challenges on the wiki for the best art. And then this final one is an update that I think that Prodigy should not add. And that is trade. I don't see why people want trading in the game. It is probably one of the worst updates that Prodigy could add. Because you could pretty much just get everything in the game for free by hacking an account. And then just trading everything over to your account for like one gold. So they should definitely not add trading into Prodigy. But yeah, that is going to go ahead and end up the video. Let me know what updates you guys want to see in Prodigy this year. Make sure to like and subscribe, and bye.